Welcome to Real Food and today I'm going to um, prepare um, a really delicious, um, um, a little unusual and very nutritious um, breakfast. Um, it's going to be a combination of French croissant, um, scrambled egg and we've got this caviar. You know what I found is very um, good combination. Um, caviar, um, especially this one, I tried it already. It's very salty, so when you have scrambled egg, you don't need to add salt, and um, your croissant will will serve as a as a bed for scrambled egg and um, and caviar eggs. So, and that's what um, what I'm going to prepare today. First of all, I'm going to add um, I'm going to add some butter to my frying pan. And I'm going to start um, preparing my scrambled egg. So, a lump of butter goes in my pan. So this is, I think that's going to be enough butter. And then my eggs are going to go in. So, let me put my butter away. So as my butter starts melting, I'm going to add my eggs. It's already quite nice here. So here we are. I think two eggs will be enough for me today. And like I was saying, I, I won't need any... I won't need to add any salt because my, um, my caviar eggs are already very salty. Scrambled eggs, yeah, they're already getting scrambled, <laughs> as you can see. I think I'm going to get um, a spoon, it's going to be easy scraping and scrambling this way. I know this pan is probably not the best for scrambled eggs. Um, it, it sticks to it. But you know what? If you wash your stainless steel um, frying pan immediately after, it then, you know, it doesn't create much of a problem. It's actually very easy to wash while the eggs are still fresh, even if they get stuck to it. I'm thinking um, to spice it up a little, I'm going to add maybe something... Um, yeah, Italian seasoning. So it's going to be oregano and those kind of herby spices. And I'm going to also add um, this little treat. It's actually um, it's pollen from fennel. It's an amazing spice. You know, it's got that amazing savory taste. Um, and you can't really tell what kind of vegetable it is. It's just a gorgeous, sort of almost like a multi-dimensional taste that, um, that this fennel pollen creates. Um, it's really, really nice. So that will add um, a little bit of character to my scrambled egg. And you know what, another thing I might try and do um, is um, some pepper. Yeah, so a little bit of pepper um, will make it nice. Well, I think my... What do you think, guys? Scrambled egg. I think it's more or less ready. So I'm going to remove the heat. Um, and I'm going to start preparing my croissant. So I don't want to too much of my egg to get stuck here. So... Okay, so I've got my croissant. I'm going to cut it in the middle to create um, to 
create that nice bed for my um, for my breakfast. And um, the eggs are going to go in first. So there are multiple layers here. So first, my eggs are going to go in here. So I'm going to open it up a little more. So it might actually work with two crossongs, yeah. So because I've got enough eggs and I've got enough caviar, yeah, so that might work. So here we are. So here's my first croissant. And here's my, my caviar. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my caviar right in the middle. And because caviar is very, very salty, um, that will create perfect contrast for, for eggs. And if you like, um, for example, smoked salmon and with eggs for breakfast, this, I think, is going to be one of your new favorites. So, yeah, and you can eat it like this, or, you know, use your favorite. Another thing I potentially could recommend is sprinkle of lemon on top. Um, that might work well. Or maybe your favorite um, sauce, like a fish sauce or mayonnaise, that might work as well. Well, but that's, you see how easy it is. Um, I hope you like this video and you can try this um, at home. And um, let me wish you bon appetit and we'll chat again soon in another video.